Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition Hotel Vibes. That's right, we're back to Hotel ASMR. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen the Final Fantasy video, which I don't expect you to have, <laughs> um, where I did mention it, um, I did move, but well not move, I took a job back in Northern California, well in California, in Northern California this time, um, and I'm once again set up in a hotel. Uh, on a weekly basis for the next couple of months which works out because this is when Baldur's Gate 3 comes out and I'll get the chance to play it in the evenings pretty regularly on well, the afternoons this job actually gets done pretty early in the day it's pretty nice um, and it's paying really well and I get to be a crew chief so that's cool um, but anyway uh, hopefully the audio isn't like super quiet like it was last time that was an issue I was having um, but I'm gonna try to speak at like a fairly normal volume, but we'll see how that goes because I don't think the walls are that great. <laughs> so, uh, let me figure out what we're doing. Let's actually head to the Citadel and drop off what fetch quests we have. Um, and then... Oh, we'll probably do Ranok. I, I, the, we have the Novaria thing, but I really do want to bring... I don't, even, I don't even know if it's that big a deal, but, like, what is it, like, uh, emotionally, uh, vibes-wise, <laughs> I, uh, I do want to bring Tally with me. Don't click the DLC, don't click the DLC, don't click the DLC, don't click the DLC. <laughs> Ally Alliance docks, yes, okay. We cannot, absolutely cannot You're go to the... You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground I, transport? I thought you were dead, actually. Hold us, hold up a second. I thought this woman was dead. I thought she got murdered. Yes, Commander. By Cerberus when they landed. Alright, let's see. I'm pretty sure one of my drop-offs is in here. We tried to run again, but we were blocked. And the farm girl? Her leg was broken, bleeding bad. I knocked down a wall in a barn with a big warp field. I'm so proud of that. And we hid. They must have searched for you. I'm an Asari huntress. No damn husk is gonna find me unless I let it. But the farm girl who was with you? Her leg was broken. She was whimpering, and then they I ran. I saw her through a hole in the woods. She was coming closer with those dead black eyes. And Hillary farm girl. She couldn't stop crying. They were gonna hear. What did you do? What do you think? Yeah. I don't know. She might have one more bit to that, but it is exactly what it sounds like. But, yes. I don't know... Eek. I don't know if, I'm, if I've already mentioned it. But, uh, we find out later that Joker's sister is named Hillary. So, there's that. Alright. I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. The general might pull through because of this. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I try not to do too many spoilery things, but the game has been out for a while. <laughs> but I try not to go crazy with spoilers. I don't know if we ever heard the the finishing story of the guy who got his leg amputated. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if it's ever actually been confirmed either. But from the way J Joker says he hasn't heard from her and her family, and I'm pretty sure he says that, they, that his family lived on a farm. So most people assume that that's her. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, hang on, let's see, okay. In addition to your medical discharge, the government wants to give you a uh. The intel you provided when that shuttle finally found you, you saved a lot of lives. And I killed those farmers. They were indoctrinated. You had to defend yourself. And as for Hillary, idiot. 
When I took a shower and left my gun in the bedroom, I killed them. Ayara. At least she can blame the Reapers. But I'm just... Me. Color on my eyes. Did they turn back after? Could I get that gun now? I'll see what I can do. Yeah, that's the end. Yeah. She's gotta be the one who lives with the consequences of her actions. I don't really need it. Alright, Jacob, what's up? Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when She's you can. so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I forgot he wanted to- I'm like, yeah, he told me on the ship, but no, he told me in wherever we were. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible build, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah. Sure. I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. Believe it. <laughs> that's, that's Pokemon. Believe it. <laughs> no, I I don't know. I, I kind of can't tell, honestly, if Shepard really does. Like, I think she feels like she has to believe, right? Like, there's no other choice. Like, it's not like a 100% thing, but she has to for herself and for everybody else. Like, she has to believe that this will work because otherwise what's the point you know that could be a whole other game too being the scientist like on the crucible like running around like solving things or maybe it would make a cool movie maybe maybe not necessarily a cool video game but it would make a cool movie um but like in theory uh, the idea of like you know the greatest minds in the galaxy coming together in like a really you know tense situation and trying to like solve this massive project, you know? Although hopefully in the movie it wouldn't just be some big giant super weapon, it would be actually something cool. But, you know, you, you know, you, you, you do what you can. <laughs> it was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... Oh! oh. Having a baby. I forgot! Wow. Oh, wow! Congratulations. <laughs> Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. <laughs> really? Please, no. Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. Yeah, no. That's... Nice. That's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out. <laughs> no offense. Please. None it's take. not a great first name. Good. Good. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> that I forgot he's having a baby. He does. He says like I'm gonna be the better father than mine was. You know. And you can you you know it's that whole thing where you can keep like the cycle going of like you know abuse or bad decisions, or you can say the buck stops with me. You know. I'm doing things differently. You know. And he, I think he. He'll know what he wanted from his father, and he'll be able to give that to his child, you know? Uh, so that's super exciting. But I'm also like, you're having a child now? The end of the world? Like, I feel like that's fairly... I don't know. I, even when I was a kid, I remember... Okay, I used to read way, way back in the day. I read... I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but the Left Behind series. It's a very Christian post-apocalyptic... It's a Christian post-apocalyptic story of, like, uh, after the rapture, right? where half the people have been gone up to heaven or whatever and and then everybody else is left behind and they got to you know make do and there's like it is wild it's it is a it is a trip let me tell you like looking back on the vague parts i remember i'm like holy cow um but uh shoot or like oh in one part they're like you know the 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 good christians are like hiding in the hiding in the bunker somewhere and one of them has a baby and I remember thinking, and I'm like, I don't know, I'm like a young teen. I'm like 12 or 13 maybe. And I'm like, that's so irresponsible to have a child. Like, in the apocalypse, you know, let alone the, the like, end of the world where, like, it, I, I, 
I don't know, maybe, maybe I didn't understand it all, but I was like, I was pretty sure everybody was done being born by that point. Like, I don't know, like, in the, half of everybody goes back, you know, like, I don't know. So there was that. But I was like, it's so irresponsible to have a baby right now. Like, you don't know if it's going to starve or get, like, murdered in front of you. Like, this helpless baby. And I just remember thinking that was so, so selfish and short-sighted. And so I'm kind of, anyway, this, that was a tangent, but it relates. For, the, for this, I'm like, it's like the apocalypse. And in this, like, you're hoping that, you know, like, life will build itself back up again after. But, um, but yeah, it just feels like bringing a baby into, like, a war zone, into, like, the potentially end of the world, like, isn't a great idea. Especially because freaking Bryn is like, now she's got to be pregnant while she's doing all this. And that's a whole other set of things to have to deal with, you know? Anyway, that's... Uh, why, I don't know why I spent like five minutes ranting about that, but here you go. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. Right. For reals, though. That guy's been going nonstop forever. Um, I am surprised that they're letting Jacob come out of where the Crucible's been gone. Because all it would take is a bunch of Reapers getting a hold of him and, like, sucking his brain out. Or something. And, like, the Reapers could, like, read his mind or whatever and figure out where the Crucible is and go. Because the fact that we're building it isn't a huge secret, but the location is highly a secret. But apparently he knows where it is. And he just came on out to the Citadel for kicks and giggles. Like, <laughs> I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again. For getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. That's the thing, is like, you know, you get a group of friends or people together and you do some crazy things, maybe, even in like real life, right? But you can't, um. I don't know, you're not always. Not always in the same place, you know, like even if you get like a bond. I think this is the guy who wants like the pillars of. The Elcor. Wait, wait. You asked if I got heavy armor. I never said it was heavy. Oh. Uh. And since when do you know anything about shield capacitors? I read about them. Did you say you sold your car a few weeks ago? Because that's around the time I got sent this new armor. Hey, hey, it's late. And I'm not letting my friend miss a night of purgatory, right? You want to go in, or do you want to talk about my car some more? No, you're right. Let's go in. And I'm buying you some goddamn <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's the least you can do. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, she sold her car to get him armor, but she was trying to be, like, she, was, she wasn't, she didn't tell him, and then he, but then he figures it out, <laughs> so. I think it's cute, like, even if they are just, like, like best buds, like, you would do anything, right? You would do anything to keep your friends safe if you could. And if it's the end of the world and all you have to do is sell your car to get your friend better armor to fight on the front line of, like, the world-ending war, like, heck yeah, I'd do it! <laughs> also, you live on the Citadel. Like, the public transportation is excellent here. I recovered some texts from a library in Reaper-controlled space. Oh? I can have them waiting for you at Bay D-24 if that would help. Really? Well, damn. It couldn't hurt. Thank you. Just, well, thanks, man. Uh, Maybe those texts I mean, I think many of them do, but also, you're not gonna learn that from reading a book, really. Anyway, she's wearing armor from Mass Effect 1. I don't know if I've already said that, but... Are you guys, you guys are still here? Hang on, is there anybody else? Nope. Let's hear it. Your turn. Counselor Tables. But Dude, we, are, we already did this. Shaira, yeah, we already did this. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> You're creeping me out. <laughs> Ew. I know somebody. Oh, yeah. I'm not skinning the Alliance. Since when are you so 
I think she tells him to 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 piss off, and then uh, she's gonna go help out. I think. <laughs> yes, Cortez. Shepherd, oh no! Come have a drink. Oh no! Oh no! You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful <laughs> Oh, is that? There's an energy here. There's life. That's true. And purgatory serves the best drinks. Here. To a new day, to our friendship, I'm a nerd. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. That classic... The classic animation for throwing it back in these games. I'll see you back on the Okay, we are not. I'll see you back. Okay, yeah, that was it. All right, I'm sure we sat, sat and chatted for a bit. I swear there was something. Yeah, nope. Uh, I swear there was something where you would dance with him, like just for you know, just as friends. Although maybe no, maybe if you're a guy, you can dance with him. I haven't tried it yet. I do want to romance Cortez someday. Someday I would really like to. I think I think he would he's just so sweet. Like he's such a kind person. You know? It'd be really nice. And I think he'd have a really good romance. Although and to be fair, I guess I like romances. <laughs> I guess apparently where people have like a tragic like uh, like dead loved one in their past, specifically like a dead partner. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Thane too. His wife died, and I was like, mm, "He's hot." <laughs> but Cortez is just like incredibly kind, and like I want him to be happy. And like I think, from even just like some of the friendship, Thank you yeah, yeah, some of the friendship lines, like he's just so supportive of you, and like you know, he's just such a good friend. And uh, I just want him to be happy. And if that means romancing my very handsome shepherd that I'll make someday. Your daughter's paperwork has been I would be more than happy for that. What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why don't you go spend the time you have left with her? I'll take care of the rest. That's incredibly kind. I wasn't sure if she was the one I had to give the unfortunate news to. We might not actually... We might not have that person yet waiting for us in the wings. I don't know why I'm walking up here. There's nothing... Well, maybe there's something in the... Something in the Spectre office, maybe. Thank you. Let's see how much illicit government oversight we can do. Yes, this, okay. She's uh, currently on, the, the Huntress is currently on stress lead due to a mission of the human colony. Tip tree, that was the other thing. That's right, that's right. Um, what's his name? Joker does say that his family lives on tip tree, yeah. And that his sister's name is Hillary. And you never hear about it, at least as far as I know, you don't ever hear about Joker finding out that she's probably, that she's dead, you know. She was forced to kill a human civilian to prevent both of them from being discovered by Reaper forces. Tigoni has repeatedly requested a permit to carry weapons on the Citadel. The request has been denied because of Tigoni's paranoia and the possibility of self-inflicted harm. Spectre Authority can override these security measures and grant Tigoni the right to a firearm. I'm pretty sure I authorized it last time and I'm pretty sure she either gets Reaper sort of... She has some sort of indoctrination going on and she kills people um, or she like does kill herself or like she kills innocent civilians and then herself like she has like a breakdown um but I, i'm gonna check because this is one that made me really sad when i saw how it played out for me last time so i'm gonna make it a happier one this time but let's see 
This is right. This is, we heard this person, prin, pri, Princess Private Talavi, has requested a transfer to unit actively engaged against Reaper hostiles. She's an exceptional engineer, recommending her for duty on a team sent to sabotage Reaper processing centers. Suspect her authorization would fast track this request. I am not sure how this one plays out. I think she might just die. Uh, but I don't. I can't remember. But I will authorize it. Not that I should have the. Uh, why? Why would a specter like have authorization on alliance? You know assignments. But here we are. If, okay, so hopefully I don't leave in the Google search this time. But uh, yes, if you uh, if you permit her to have a gun, she kills herself. She doesn't kill anybody else. She just kills herself. Um, and it makes a um, morale drop in the hospital. Uh, so that does affect your war assets, but more, most importantly, I don't want her to, I don't want her to do that, you know? I understand it's incredibly difficult, and there is some, there is an argument to be made, a sense for, um, the right to choose when you die, and, you know, especially in, like, such, like, situations like the end of the world, maybe, where it's like, you'd rather have the dignity of going out a certain way, or under your own control, or whatever, like, there is an argument to be made for that, ethically, um, so, like, but there's also obviously an argument to be made against it ethically as well, you know? One moment, like, she's obviously not doing well mentally. Now so the, the idea is to, like, you know, let her get to a place where she will be okay. I just every time I open this game up, I am I'm amazed at how beautiful it is. I'm trying to. Uh, no, they just their shuttle must be real slow. That's all. Do you think they're okay? They promised they'd come get me, no matter what they had to do. It's so long. I don't know, kid. I'm sure they'd be happy. We will be safe. I miss them. I miss them so much. <laughs> it's really sad. It's really, really sad. But the way he handles it is incredibly kind. Are you kidding me? Oh, are you losing again? Look at me now. Oh, hmm. Doing better? Did you ever know? Yes. Don't answer. Yeah, me. Nah, I just <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, 100%. Ah, shit. Where uh Oh yeah, and they started uh, I don't think they were doing this oh, wow. earlier. They've started putting people up top. Cuz there's just so not enough space. Making sure... I guess I could check. Zaid! Wait, hang on. Oh yeah, he was in the... the central one? He's just chilling down here? I don't know, let's, let's see if we can... Oh man. Like, seeing people reacting to everything is like really... Like, it's not much, right? Like, there are maybe games nowadays that would do a lot more, but these people are probably trying to check up on, like, Turian friends or anybody, really. There's other, there's all kinds of people in there, but... Uh, hey, you got anything? Do you know the current leader of the Suns? Boss, don't remind me. Little scumbag shot his mouth off on a patrol mission once. Got half his squad killed. Real popular after that. We couldn't boot him from the suns fast enough. Should have ended his tenure with a bullet. Well, how? why is he in charge now, then? Do you know the current leader of the suns? Yeah. Boss, don't remind how did he? How did he come Let back? Come back. Welcome to State wow. <gasps> wow, a harpoon gun? Please observe all cast restrictions when making Yeah, I hear you. I hear you out there. Ooh. Increase weapon weight by 50. Absolutely not. I require speed and versatility. I think I hear a baby crying. There are ghost babies here because there are definitely no baby models. And they did that intentionally. 
Uh, I think I remember reading an interview, I think it was this game, where they said they did not include any children except for the one, um, and they did not include, like, the one that we saw at the very beginning, and no babies, because, like, there was, like, just so much going on, like, there was, like, the end of the world stuff, and they, like, were they willing to show children running around, but also children dead on a battlefield, you know, and, like, some games companies don't want to do that, which I think is totally fine, honestly. It could get really dark, really, even if you just, like, see them laying there, like, it's not like, oh, you're watching them blow up or whatever, you know, nothing, like, super terrible, but, like, seeing the aftermath... That's really, really, like, it's extra sad, right? It's, like, seems, yeah, I don't know. I just don't want to, I, I don't really want to see it, but, like, it would be cool to see, like, ba like little tiny Tarians running around, little Batarians, like, I, you know, it would be cool to see, but in this game specifically, they were, like, we decided we didn't want to include that because it was going to be too dark, so. Also, that's a lot more assets they have to make, <laughs> so. I feel like I had more, like, did I not have the heating, then apparently, oh dang, I meant to look at the Citadel, or the Spectre Terminal, because apparently if you miss some of these, um, like the heating units at whatever place I was supposed to pick them up at, at least on some of them, you can pick them up at the Spectre Terminal for like a thousand credits, and I'm like, sweet. Uh, Samara! Oh my gosh! I, t I see. I knew she was gonna. She was here at some point. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know. There is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Definitely, no, and I, I do wish of, of everybody that Samara could have, I mean, obviously Thane too, but I wish Samara could come with me just because I felt like she's such a stabilizing influence, even though she's a little bit, you know, could murder you for what appears to be no reason, but is part of her code, but no, I, like I've said before, I, I love the, like, the, the tranquility in the, like, in the storm of violence that her and Thane offered. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Right, I mean, if they're, like, the, they're kind of the first and last line of defense they mostly stay in a sorry space so it doesn't surprise me that most of them would go to defend Desi and obviously their code would demand that they you know protect their people you know any people any innocent people but their people from the reapers like such an invading force that you know would decimate everything that they believe in was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends the Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion the role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Her eyes are mesmerizing to watch. No, I think if you dedicate yourself, truly dedicate yourself to a cause that you feel is true or just or whatever, like and you abide by it stringently like you don't have any to, sometimes to the point like to to the detriment of having no regrets you know like, it's like okay you did you were a really terrible person like you were a terrorist or whatever you know not samara but you know in general like you could you could look at it that way but it's also like if you're able to truly dedicate yourself to a cause and like almost lose yourself in it essentially like it's not a it's not a bad life to live like there's obviously arguments to be made like against it where it's like oh you got to be more you're not just you know 
the sum of your parts or the sum of you in like a giant machine but like I don't know anyway I just think it's I think it's it's what is it it's admirable enviable maybe to uh have lived a life as fraught as hers and she's at the point where she looks back and has no regrets you know because she was able to dedicate herself to something that gave her what she feels is true purpose, you know? You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting rivers. <laughs> Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Truly having the Justicars on your side, they are a formidable fighting force, so... But they're not, like, a, a, a band of guerrilla, like, a sorry, huntresses, right? They're individual fighters, but, like, their, in, their prowess as an individuals is probably on par with some, um... Like, a sorry, huntress units. Is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such brave. Well, the big, I, well, I mean, the one on the Citadel was a Reaper. The one on Jachanka was like a mini Reaper. It was like the har Harvest, not, not the Harvester. Shoot, it's the next big, it's the bigger one. But not the biggest one. That comes later. I get to do that again. A real, a, a Reaper fight again. Just you guys wait. It is the most ridiculous thing you have to do in this game. And that's saying something. Will Falaire be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaer saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. She's just stunning to watch. She's horrible. She's just mesmerizing to watch talk. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But goddess go with you, Shadow. I can... We'll I'll take it. We'll both be tested in fire. Soon enough. I will take it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever I can take, I will take at this point. Well, it looks like... I don't have anything that I've missed out on, at least that I could pick up here. So that's good. I recovered Prothean data drives from Garbug. Yay! I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with... Uh, any operation we have going. Everybody knows about it. Well, I will go ahead and call this one here. I don't think I have any messages. Nope. Okay. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, but to special Wee Skeleto, my sapling tier patron, thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my free tier patron, who is super great and super wonderful. Thank you, my friend, for your support. I appreciate it. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I cannot thank you enough, Christopher. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.